years at that now. Now, yeah. ever since uh, ABSI messed with it, I noticed that it actually goes lower. And I'm wondering if it has anything to do with what we were discussing yesterday as far as trying to make it more efficient. Sure. So it doesn't necessarily have to be turning on so long. Well, it, and it'll be it'll be gauged by the outdoor reset. Yeah. So, we you know, that over you know if it's 45, 50 degrees out, it may only run at 110 degrees. So it'll crank up to 180 or even 200 if it needs to in the dead of winter. But there's no there's no reason to run it that that high. Because I remember you know? before I left yesterday, that was one of the things he was going to work on. Boiler. It was okay. the boiler and making sure because that was one of your your uh, concerns. Yeah. But it's yeah. that on the. That's the, more on the buffer tank, yeah. So it's really uh, that. You know, and I don't quite know. Seems to me like this is still red hot because it's just beating the buffer tank. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's at that yeah. it's at that heat exchanger where we kind of play with the temperature rise, but uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know what they've done there. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it's been ever since they, we, okay. we had that discussion. So, so what are these status like there for? So all those are basically communicating yeah. to the control box? One for, I mean, what are each individual ones for? Is that Control guys, maybe? Or yeah, that is the control guys, yeah. Yeah, that's their equipment. Okay. Probably proving a pump or something. Yeah, maybe pump or... Um, and inside here, and then, just so you know, Tony, there is a card oh, okay. for, for Pat, Okay. who is the boiler rep. Okay. Yeah, he left his card in there. Okay. And at any given time... Oh, I or, but if for some reason this... Then go into a lock. The reset button is right here on the honeymoon. Okay. Just push that and it automatically just goes through this. Uh, yeah. Have you had any issues with the uh, with this locking out since you guys have had it in? Not ever since they fixed all the controls. Okay. Now that they all the programming's completed. It's been working good. It's been working good. Okay. But before, yeah, it would. And not only that, but it was also during the time that we had, uh, we were using our main gas supply to also heat all the little heater units that we had. So, and I think every now and then it would start it. I see. Yeah. Did they go through it pretty good and like, check the UV path sensor and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. He even pressurized it and did everything. I believe all that's in the uh, report set. Yeah. It seemed like one of those boilers were having an issue with the locking out. Yeah, and I wrote, I written down it was B2, the one that was locking out, and so I brought this one over because it was the one that hadn't locked out in a year. And yeah, be like it, that is. So there again, what's your, what do you got over there? What's this pressure in this? that out on your regulator. Well, oh, for the feet. Yeah, for the pressure in this particular weather. So, the, oh, you're talking about... No, I want to, you know, the first thing I do when I get out of the weather is I look at pressure and temperatures and stuff uh -huh. like that. So, what do I want to see this at when I come to when it's hot or cold? I see what you're saying. Are you going 12 pounds or up? It's probably set at 15. It is It is set at 15, yeah. Yeah, and that's when the pump kicks on. Should should kick up to 15 pounds. When that and that's, you know, that's static pressure. So, right. obviously, when the system's running, the discharge side of those pumps will hit 40, 45 PSI. Right, right. Well, that's, okay. The gate has got such tight increments. I noticed that on another system, which pops. Yeah. yeah. I mean, instead of having a wide range here, you know, it barely comes off to zero, so it's hard to tell what so it, it is. It goes all the way up to 240 PSI, you know. A lot of times on a system like this, a lot of money goes up to negative. You know, the, the standard for these triadicators has always been that way, and I don't, I don't really understand why. Yeah, you can go up to 240 PSI. But the difference between 0 and 10 
It's hard to see. It's hard to see, exactly. Yeah, yeah you always have to put another gauge on it to really see what it is. I noticed that, you know, when they did your system up there. You know, none of these gauges corresponded to that. <laughs> so, it's going to be about 15 pounds, like a normal kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a huge swing. I mean, I, I was going to get a question than a point. Yeah, yeah, even the residential boilers are like that, too. Yeah, you know, they, no, they're not that far. I mean, you can read them up at 10 pounds, pretty easy, 12 pounds, on the residential. Anyway. All right. We won't beat that one to It's just, yeah. well, it's kind of curious that we got a couple more out there that were like that. You know, like, it condenses. Yes. So, and it does work. I noticed that. Every time it fires up at the very end, about yeah, four minutes good. later, yeah. That's a, see good, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we want to see that, a yeah. lot of that. Yep. Yeah. Right now it's good. Oh, it is good. Yeah. 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 It's good. So, yeah, we have our main water inlet right here. Main water shut off. So you don't have to shut off the fire. Okay. You can shut off the building. If you wanted to shut it off there, if you wanted to shut it off at the back flow. I left those uh, fittings on there like we discussed, just so you guys can easier for use. Those fittings. Is that your irrigation one or so this is the irrigation one, yeah. Is the remote for the water meter hooked up now? I'm not sure if they I know they've been in here a couple times. Uh, ever since we put the water meter for the landscaping, they came in one more last time. Okay. So, we got that little glass right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, uh, this is from all your heat pumps. That is from my heat pumps. Yes, that is correct. Yep, heat pumps on the north side. Will we ever see that running? It's just kind of more. You, 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 you will this summer. Yeah, well, yeah when it's yeah. Just going pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then this is your discharge for your discharge line for your sump inside your elevator. Oh, okay. That's so, what that is. We were yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it comes from those two elevators that are over there. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Is there an oil minder system with those pumps? There is. Okay. There is, yeah. Yeah. Now, has this thing been tested? Yes. Okay. And the other ones as well. Is there a time for it? Or is there a you know what? Uh, we'll take a look in the office. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah Ann, will, Ann has to generate the paperwork and send yeah. it in after the inspection's done. So I'll get with her on that, find out where the tags are. Okay. Because they have to be signed by the installer after the paperwork is done. So. Yeah, and this is your main water shutoff for the boiler feed. It's also for the water heater feed. And I believe that's pretty much it. All the hose bit out here on the east side. And you're never going to have hot water on that little thing. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty Unless, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of handy for us, though. Oh, it's been handy for the job, you can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's been used, hasn't it? Yeah. Got used. Yeah. Yeah. So, recharge on the expansion tank for the 
water eater? 15 pounds. 15 pounds, yep. And uh, I showed John that there's a tag also on top of here. And you can see that one right there. I, I re-signed it and dated it when I charged it to 20 PSI. This one over here though on the, the mess tank? I can put a, a, a piece of tape or something on there. Is it at 15 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is at 15 pounds. These are at 20. Is that, is that where you normally put it? Yeah, it was factory set at 12. Yeah. And then I, I set it to 15 PSI according to that little bit that I gave you. I might be wrong, but don't those the hook they kind of somewhat for what the system is set at? Well, this is on the inside. Or this is on the, that's on, on the domestic side, like your inlet water pressure. So when it gets above that, then it kind of will absorb it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the tank the tank pressure is, is equals the incoming water pressure. So that the, so that the, so that the diaphragm the diaphragm stays fairly level in there as a, you know and, and so the cushion is equal on both sides of the system or on the on the air side and on the water side. And then how about well, that's the next question. Is there a PR rebound anywhere for pressure below the 80 pounds requirement? Well, the PRV should be on the water surface. I didn't see it. Unless they, unless the design team felt it wasn't required. No, because it wasn't. Okay. No, we didn't. We didn't have that. We might be high enough to still go to the 80 or one the 80. Further down we go because of the tanks, tanks start to climb it up. Our, but I thought we were the old building down. was the old building was like ninety something before we tore it down, right? Yeah, I thought it was above the eighty. I know that when I tested when I uh, just uh, just for us when we were testing all the our yeah. main piping, we were getting about seventy seventy two. Okay, good. So yeah. Uh, so that's probably and like that's that. probably why they left it out there. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll charge that up to about 70 pounds. How you doing? Yeah. 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 We have, uh, we have a couple of these drug post pumps that are different models.